Alright lads, welcome back to another play review on the channel. Now today the second FOF foot team has come out. I can't forgot what it is, Festival of Football Team. Now, we are reviewing this Knight and Nandez card who I bought for just 45k, which is an absolute steal now. 5 foot 8, high high work rates, brilliant. Right foot, 3 star, 3 stars, very bad, but you know that's the only bad thing so far. In game, brilliant pace. For a centre mid, box to box or CDM or even cam, brilliant positioning, good finishing, great shot power, okay long shots, good shooting, passing wise, vision good, short passing amazing, very good long passing, just bad curve, so overall pretty good passing. Dribbling is actually amazing, apart from actual dribbling, which itself is not bad anyway. Um, so overall his dribbling is amazing. Defensive wise, again amazing. Defensive awareness 89, brilliant. Brilliant interceptions, brilliant stand tackle, good slide tackle. Heady accuracy doesn't matter. Max out stamina, brilliant strength, brilliant aggression. And the outside the foot shot trait. It also has a chance to go upgraded. I'm not too sure if it will, but it might. And this card is 45k, which I found outrageous. Now it's also Serie A, which is very nice as well, and can link to icons. So it's not even a bad league. Now I know I'm on minus 3 chem, but I'm going to be playing in max chemistry online because. Uh, I can't fit him into my team, I'm just doing him for the review. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into a game with him and we'll see how he plays. First touch on the ball for Nandez then. Pace seems good. Decent dribbling as well. Positioning wise here. Setting himself in a good position to start an attack. Oh, this is that 94 positioning. He's through here as well. Cross into the middle. Wasn't bad. To Nandez here. Wins a free kick and a dangerous. Alright, Nandez is going to go for this free kick here. Puts it in towards the top corner. Will it do anything? Ooh, not a bad free kick to be fair. Starting decent. Nandez. Not a good ball out wide there in that. Uh, situation to be honest there's through here shoots oh it's a good save it was a decent effort from Nandez there Nandez dribbling it picks out the pass oh, Nandez could have had an assist there that was nice gonna test out Nandez's long pass in here we're gonna play a long ball down the line which wasn't not good at all, actually. Nanda's attacking brilliantly here. He's going to get the ball into the box. Not a bad ball, that. Good dribbling there from Nandez. Ah, oh, brilliant dribbling. Gets a pass away as well. To Amiri. Nandez is through. It's not a brilliant effort, but the position there to get into that area was nice. Nandez here. Long shot! Brilliant save there. And that was a good effort from Nandez. Nandez with another long shot! Again, it is fractionally wide there. His long shots didn't seem to be too bad there in the two corner chances. Looks out a nice ball. It's a ball back here. Nandez. And that is a brilliant goal. To be honest, his defending's meant to be really good. He's not really made any tackles, but attacking wise, he's contributed brilliantly. I might use him as a cam, to be honest, because in that position, he seems to play really well. Nandez picks up Luke dribbling. His dribbling seems to be his best attribute so far, in my opinion. Nandez. Ball into Gundogan. My final thoughts on this card was he got himself a goal. Now, the thing I find interesting, I thought he'd be more of a box-to-box -box and a bit better in the defensive department. But in all honesty, I don't think he made a single tackle for me. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because attacking-wise, he was brilliant. His passing on the ball, outstanding. Long-range passes could be a bit questionable, but short-range with that 96 short passing was amazing. Um, 
And dribbling out of this world. It, I would generally say his dribbling is what it says. Defensively, he just didn't do anything. Now, he didn't do anything wrong defensively. He didn't miss any tackles. He was just never in the area to make one, to be honest. Uh, stamina brilliant. His physicals, again, were how I'd say they were. Defensively, couldn't really question because didn't have a chance. Passing, exactly the same. Long passing wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. Like I said, long passing 86, not terrible, not amazing. Brilliant short passing. But shooting-wise was a thing that surprised me in a good way. Them long shots were actually quite deadly. And his shooting overall was good. And his pace was, again, amazing. So, overall, I'd actually play this card as a cam, if, in my opinion. I'd maybe go with an engine, hunter, dead eye, Maybe, like, a catalyst. Maybe a shadow if you do want to play him defensively. But, yeah, overall, lads, this was a decent card. And I'll give it a solid 9 out of 10.